Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go to the first link in the description and download HLAE. Download the latest version just as an EXE file. So yeah, just run it and then click install. Um, make sure you install FFmpeg. So, uh, it's going to prompt you to install FFmpeg. You want that. So next thing, while that's installing, because it's going to take a little while, uh, you want to go to the second link in the description and download my movie making CFGs. All of these, you can just do code, download, save. Okay, so when you download that, you want to uh, open it and put all of these into your CSGO directory. So if I, you can go properties, local files, browse, and just put it here. Just go to CSGO CFG, yeah? All of those put there. Okay, now you can close it. And you want to go, uh, if you want to use Murph streams, which you probably do, and you want to use FFmpeg, you want you should download these codecs. So the first one, the KLite codec, uh, you want to go here. One of these three servers, just if the first one does not work, try the other ones. So you can just download. And then the QuickTime codec, you just win. And this one too, just to download. It's gonna take a little while to load for some reason, but it's fine. And download. Uh, if it says this file can harm your computer or whatever, just to keep. Uh, I'm not gonna install them because I already did it like four times. Uh, but yeah, it's it's completely safe. Don't worry. So the next one you want to do is go to the next link in the description. So this is uh, optional. You don't have to do this. This is end skins. Uh, it's for changing the skins in your demos, in your clips. So I recommend, I mean, it's pretty easy to use. It's really powerful for how easy it is to use. So you can just download that. It's whatever. Whether you put this DLL, it's the only thing you need. You can just go to your, I recommend putting it in your HOA directory. So mines, C files. Mm, yeah. You can go, you can just put it here in the root directory for HOA whatever i already have it here just uh, you'll need this directory so you can just keep the file explorer open here the next one is optional too it's only if you want to use reshade to record your uh, clips which it's pretty good if you don't know what reshade is you can do really powerful stuff you can add uh bloom you can add uh dof you can just do download Again, you don't have to do, you, don't, you do not have to download it. And you can just skip forward because all of these are just for the reshade. And you don't need them if you don't want reshade. So next is this one. And we're chilled up. You want to download that too. Uh, this is for encoding the uh, whatever you get from the reshade recording into a video actual because also this is a logarith lossless video codec that's for the virtual dub too you can just do a uh, reshade setup run the first file you downloaded of reshade and you can just go to your csgo directory uh yeah directory d9 i'll do update because i already have all of these then the mod is reshade it's basically the same thing, just select your CSGO directory again, directory D9 again, update, and boom, you got it. So, next one you want to do the virtual up. you basically have it like this, you can just extract it to somewhere, so I already have it too, so yeah, then you can just do lag riff setup, you do next, and I already have it, so click finish. So you're done with this and you can go into HLAE now, you can go to tools, custom loader and here. So you won't have anything here, just this. So you want to go browse and select your CSGO directory. So again, 
And here, you also do it. You also do inject. You won't have any of these again. So I'll just delete them and show you. So first one, you want the AFX hook source, the DLL from the HLA directory. The other one is only if you use reshade. So Counter Strike. So if you have reshade, just go to your Counter Strike directory again, and D3D9.dll. Right. So I, uh, you're pretty much done setting up HLA. Uh, so now you can go ahead and start press OK, which will start CS. Okay. So when you get into CS, uh. Just press escape on all of these oh. uh you need to go to your settings video and you need to disable you uber shaders actually i'm not sure about this but i'm pretty sure you do need to disable uber shaders and you need to disable uh msaa and fxaa multi-sampling anti-aliasing mode and fxaa anti-aliasing you need to disable them otherwise reshade will not work Okay, so you can go ahead and go to your demo or to whatever clip you want. Okay, so when you're inside your game, uh, you need to pause it to exit movie. To the next, I'll go ahead and go to my frag. Okay, so uh, a few things to note. If you have my movie making CFG, so you want to do clear and do info and you have all of the things you need to know so okay so here it says that you need to change your record director in movie making cfg so actually let's do that when you look inside movie making the cfg you'll have this thing so the ninth line so we have like this uh command here where streams to record name you want to put your um your desired folder where you want it to record the clips the stuff the streams everything Next one, which you want to do is do uh, remove this. Also, by the way, this does not apply for the um, reshade recording. The, the, it saves it into the CSGO folder. And also, if you have end skins, you need to put the path to the end skins DLL right here. And also, if you want to change your FFmpeg preset, you need to go to FFmpeg.cfg. You have all of these stuff here. Personally, I use PX3. Also, if you want to um, change your FOE inside the demo, uh, I'll show that even later. You, you need to go into the demo.cfg and I'll actually move this. Actually, I'll move that later. So the 65th line or the first line, one of these, um, Murph FOE. So a couple of things you can do. Yeah, you can toggle death notices. If I actually can type. Right now, they will be disabled, so not no definitely this is up in the right corner also let's do you want to disable hud also you have these commands right here which print is for the merge streams like all of the streams you have but if you want to enable them you don't need to do any commands you can just type the stream name the only one that this does not apply to like that you can type the name of the stream is hud the black and white because you want to record both of those so you just do hud so just do hud and it should record both of these so the next one next thing you have here here are some commands and yeah this is the important stuff this n is pause and resume your cinematic also by the way f1 create this camera uh, which by the way you want to change your foe something like 30 also when doing these scan paths you want to do like 20 to 10 percent speed on your demo and by doing the plus and minus sign on your on your keyboard you can uh, increase how fast it, the camera moves okay so uh if i create a camera with middle mouse button and press f3 you can show the cam path to got the visibility of it also by the way, every time you load into a demo or you see the that the models are lagging actually a little bit it's uh not exactly like when you stop the demo that they are they move to a slightly different spot or not slightly can do demo fix so if you want to see how each of these layers will look like any of these you can do merge streams review and the layer name so for example for example, green models can just a preview. And if you use reshade, uh, you want to do 
F8 because that disables the VGUI and home and you want to go to settings and bend effect toggle P. So I have mine is at F11. So I already have a bunch of effects here. If I go back, you say absolutely rest escape. Escape gets rid of the camera. So I have a bunch of effects. So if I do F11, it already looks hell of a lot different. You can use effects like MXAO. Here you can tweak all of the settings of these. So SSR it adds the reflectivity. I use Marty McFly DOF. So how do you do these scan paths? I was I was tilting before. So uh, X and Y. You can press N and just wait for him to get wherever you want the shot to be. And you want to do whatever. Again, middle mouse button to add a camera. F3 to toggle the visibility of it. Also, you need four cameras for the camp off to actually work. Okay, so I did four of these, and uh, actually, if you're dumb like me and forgot the, uh, if you don't know which stick you started on, you can just do KF print because I have an A lens for it. First camera is on this stick right here, so I'll just go to it. I think you can also do uh, camp off, to enable the actual camp off, uh, and just uh, follow the path and just stop it where you don't like it. So I didn't like it here. I can just press F1, tilt my camera, just don't move, and just tilt my camera towards where I want it to be looking. This demo is a little like laggy. I had problems before with it. This is the first time I have this issue, so it should not happen to you. Now that you've got this, you can go ahead and record it. So I'll do print again. Actually, I'll do info first and print. And so you have all of these. So I'll do normal. And for example, I can do my depth 24. So the actually there is isn't much of a difference in between my depth 24, my depth and depth. So you can just do our streams preview my depth 24. So this one you can see like really far, you know. And this one is closer. My depth is a little further. I mean just depth. It's just a middle ground. Whatever which one you prefer. I'll do my depth 24 because it looks the cleanest in my opinion on the preview end so if you want to record it you can just do uh here you can see our start and our end movie start you don't want that if you don't use reshade that's for reshade recordings i'll get to that later but where to do print you'd see my depth 24 and normal so i can just do need to choose an fps preset you can create your own if you want don't recommend using 154 cinematics just for gameplay if you want small file sizes but i'm gonna use uh 150 for this cinematic right now because i want to be quick and you can do our start now it will lag a bit and then it starts recording Okay, so we'll get to the reshade recording now. So we'll go back to the deck we started on. I mean, we want to start on. So now we want to do um, type start movie and it will show you what it wants from you. So the file name is going to be balls. So what I want is I'll, sh I'll choose AVI. You should choose DGA. Choose DGA too if you want to use DGA. But it's better, but it will take a little longer. But it's fine. And I'll do WAV too. Choose your codec. I'll do lagger of lossless. You do okay. Now you want to do um movie start. So when you do movie start, we'll start recording. I actually messed up because I forgot a command, but it will work when you, you do it. Okay, you can do movie end. And now that you've got that, you'll have it somewhere in your CSGO folder. I mean Counter Strike Global Offensive. See? Uh, the DJ files, you have them right here in your CSGO folder. Also, the VAV file will be here. You can just keep them right here for now. So, what you want to do is open VirtualDub now. Okay, so when you open VirtualDub, you'll, you'll see something like this. 
So I'm going to go back to your CSGO folder and find the first DGA file, drag and drop it into here. And you want to do a video frame rate. I recorded 150 to press OK. Now we go compression and select Tiger lossless. Then you want to go to configure and do use multi trading and YUI2. So now that you've got that, you can press OK. You can go save as AVI. Go wherever you want to save it out here. Name it whatever you want. So I'll do reshade break one. And you want to click off these two. It's just going to go faster with no preview. And now that you've got that, you go there. Wherever you save that, you'll have it here as an AVI file. 162 max, which is pretty good. Okay, so uh, you want to do info. This is for the end skins and Merp POE. So, so for your uh, clip, when you're actually in the first person and you want to have all the hot and stuff, you want to take this command, put it in, and find your player. So this is me. Uh, I'm seventh, I'm number seven. You want to remember this number and copy this, your XUID. And you want to go DC and you want to do Merp underscore POE seven whichever number you have and if you go back as you can see i already have skins because it's already loaded i can do insert let's say i want the knife here you can choose a knife i'll do m9 here you can choose a skin so well, let's let's say i want this one you want to press enable and put your xuid right here and then press update and then save if you want to keep that uh your xuid is the same uh across everything across all demos so you just need it once you just need the boe so uh if you want to actually see the skins you can just go back and you should see it now and as you can see i have an m9 right now I, that should be everything covered, so see ya.